Hello everyone, this video presents the installation of Kingstar Runtime. Kingstar is a real-time industrial software. Therefore, it will access the Windows kernel and hardware directly. Installing an industrial application on your system requires administrator permissions and antivirus whitelisting. We recommend you disable the antivirus during the installation. It can then be enabled and configured afterwards. The tight connection with Windows and the hardware means that there are some requirements. Kingstar only supports 64-bit versions of Windows operating system starting with Windows 10 1809 to the latest version of Windows 10. Ethercat is a real-time network protocol and it requires a local network, LAN. The Ethercat network should be isolated and not be connected to external networks or used for other internet activity. We recommend using a computer with two LAN ports. The LAN port used for Ethercat communication must be precise and stable, so we recommend an Intel i210 or i211 LAN chip. If you do not have Ethercat hardware or a proper LAN on your runtime target system, you will only be able to test and develop using Kingstar simulated hardware. Kingstar will automatically install .NET 4.7.2 if it's not already available on your system. It can take a long time and requires restarting of your target system. The installation of other Kingstar components is described in other videos. The order in which you install them does not matter. Launching an installer takes a while due to the Windows automatic antivirus screening. Please read our end user license agreement fully before accepting it. You can choose any folder to install Kingstar, but you must have read-write access to the location. If you select a LAN port here, the installer will convert it automatically to Kingstar for use with Ethercat. Please make sure it is not the one you are using for Internet. Also remember that only the Intel 82574, i210, i211 and i350 are proven to have good Ethercat performances. Other LAN may not work at all with Ethercat or may only be suitable for testing. If you have multiple identical network cards, we recommend to convert them manually after installing Kingstar to avoid converting the wrong port. Kingstar uses the Interval Zero RTX64 real-time operating system, which is installed at the same time. Please make sure you do not have RTX64 or another real-time operating system already installed on your system. Once Kingstar is installed, the licensing utility will open automatically. You can also start the utility manually from the Start menu. If you purchased a dongle license, please plug the dongle into your computer and wait for the license to be detected automatically. For a manual online activation, first check that your computer is able to connect to the Interval Zero license server. You can configure a proxy if necessary. If you purchased a license not tied to a dongle or applied for an evaluation, enter the activation key from the email you received and press Activate. You can now see the activated components on the right side. Grey components are activated but not installed. You can now configure the number of cores used by each operating system. Kingstar is based on the RTX64 real-time OS. The OS needs at least one core to perform real-time tasks without interference from Windows. So please associate one core to RTSS and the other to Windows. Changing the boot configuration requires a restart of Windows. Please do so to finish the configuration. When starting your computer, you will now see two options. If you want to run Kingstar, you have to select the option with RTX64 enabled. The other option allows your system to run as if Kingstar was not installed. If the computer does not have access to Internet or to the Interval Zero license server, you can activate using a fingerprint file. Select the Activate with Fingerprint File option. If you purchased a license not tied to a dongle or applied for an evaluation, enter the activation key from the email you receive and press Save As. 
Save the fingerprint file to a removable disk or network location and take it to a different computer that has internet access. Go to https activation.interval0.com and load the fingerprint file. Click Activate and save the license file to your removable disk. Return to the original system and import the license file. You can now see the activated components on the right side. Grey components are activated but not installed. You can now configure the number of cores used by each operating system. Kingstar is based on the RTX 64 real-time OS. The OS needs at least one core to perform real-time tasks without interference from Windows. So please associate one core to RTSS and the others to Windows. Changing the boot configuration requires a restart of Windows. Please do so to finish the configuration. If you have multiple NICs of the same type, you should convert them manually or both will be converted at the same time. In the Start menu, open the RTX 64 control panel and click on Manage RTX 64 Devices. This will open the Windows Device Manager. Right-click on the NIC you want to convert and select Update Driver. You will need to select the driver manually, so browse for drivers on your computer and pick from a list of available drivers. If you have converted this NIC in the past, you can find the driver in the list of compatible hardware. Otherwise, click on Half Disk to browse for the file. Go to the Kingstar installation folder and select rtx 64 inf rtx 64 pnpnetinf If the NIC is supported by RTX64, the driver will appear in the compatible hardware list. Once the card is converted to RTX64, you will see RTX64 in the adapter name. To assign a NIC to Ethercat, Open the Kingstar control panel and the Runtime Settings tool. In the Network Interface Cards tab, transfer the controller of the NIC that was converted to RTX64 to Kingstar. To confirm that everything is working properly, open the Kingstar control panel, then start the configuration tool. The configuration tool allows you to link to connected hardware and test and configure them. Keep the default connection settings for now and attempt a connection. For this to work, Ethercat hardware should be connected to the converted NIC and powered on. The list of connected hardware will appear on the left and you will see some logs in the RTX server window. Using the configuration tool, you can configure, power on, test and tune drives. We will now use a simple jog motion to confirm that the hardware is controlled successfully. For development, you should install one of our SDKs. PLC developments should use the Kingstar Logic Lab IDE. For real-time development, our Kingstar SDK will add plugins to Visual Studio. For Windows-only development, no SDK is required, but you can install the Kingstar SDK to access our help and samples. Please read our end-user license agreement fully before accepting it. You can choose any folder to install Kingstar, but you must have read-write access to the location. If you do not plan to develop a real-time application, you can choose not to install the RTX64 components.
Thank you for watching this video. If you have any issues connecting to an EtherCAT hardware or controlling it, please contact us at support at kingstar.com.